So, would you like to tell us an inspirational woman you came to in your exploration? Yes, well, perhaps the logical place to start um, when talking about the Royal Scottish Geographical Society is with a lady called Agnes Livingston Bruce, because she was a co-founder of the society in 1884. Now, Agnes was the daughter of David Livingston, the famous explorer in Africa, the African missionary, um, who was very famously discovered, in inverted commas, by Henry Morton Stanley in 1871. And so Agnes, um, David Livingston's daughter, was born in Africa and she had very strong ties with Africa. And she also had, um, had long-standing ties, obviously, with, with Stanley. And she believed that Scotland should have its own geographical society because in the late 1800s, there was already in existence um, the Royal Geographical Society in London. Um, but Agnes believed that Scotland needed its own so that we could invite um, eminent explorers and travellers to Edinburgh and to other places throughout Scotland so that they could share their experiences with people actually directly in Scotland and that Scotland could have its own platform to promote geography as a science. And so Agnes got together with a man called John George Bartholomew, who was from a map-making family, eminent map-making family in Edinburgh, Bartholomew's. And they both hatched an idea one day in 1884 to put a proposal together to various people to form the Royal Scottish Geographical Society. And by the end of 1884, the society was up and running with lots of support from various people throughout Scotland and was already getting a growing membership. So Agnes Livingston Bruce was influential in so many ways with RSGS, not just because she helped to co-found the society, but being a woman, she opened the doors of the society to other women in other words, at a time when a lot of academic societies were closed to women, the RSGS was open to women members and gave fellowships out to women in the very earliest days. So we owe a lot of gratitude really to Agnes with her, um, with her open-mindedness and the fact that she was a woman with this, with this brilliant idea.